Algebra 1 practice test for T and ready. On this version of the test, it's question number 28. Let me say that this is a math problem in the sense that they really are trying to shoehorn a real-world reference in there, and there's almost no purpose in it, but who knows, whatever. Um, the function gz is equal to 400z minus z squared can be used to determine the area and square feet of a field, where z represents the width of the field in feet. So we have a rectangular field, we're assuming, because they're going to give it to you in square feet. A farmer will plant spinach in the field and expects to harvest one pound of spinach per square foot. If the field is 50 feet wide, what is the total number of pounds of spinach the farmer should expect to harvest from the field? So we have this situation going on. Oh, that's terrible. You know what? Let me just use my brain for three seconds. There we go. And do that instead of trying to draw a terrible looking rectangle. So when I end up with this entire rectangle having an area of 40z minus z squared, the nice thing is they do tell me that the width is z, so it's over here. So I need to start thinking, okay, I have the area. So what's the area formula for a rectangle? Well, it's length times width. And if I know that the width value is z, I'm looking for something that I can multiply by z to give me 400z times or minus z squared. Now, it's just factoring. I'm just going to factor out a z from this whole thing is the long and short of what's going to happen next. So I have 400z minus z squared, and I'm going to factor out a z from both terms. That goes away, that goes away. So I end up with 400 minus z. That value right there is there. That value right there is the length. So I could rewrite this up here as 400 z or 400 minus z times z and that would end up with the 400 z minus z squared. Even though I didn't really need to do that step, I did it anyway and my lousy handwriting here can justify why I always mark, make a little line through the Z so I can tell what I'm trying to do. Anyway, I'm dealing with this stuff. They also tell us that the field is 50 feet wide, so they tell me the width was Z, so Z is equal to 50. So up here, that means 400 minus 50 equals 350. So if area equals length times width, the length is 350 times 50. And this is a calculator allowed section, um, so you're welcome to use a calculator to do that part. I did it really quickly there, so 17,500. 17, that is how many square feet that you have, but the question tells us that the one pound of spinach per one square foot and since they want to know what are the total number of pounds, it's the same as the number of square feet. So my answer is 17,500. In the long run, this is not a super difficult question. It is, a, like I said, it's a very convoluted way to get to your answer, but okay. Um, essentially, if they give you a rectangle and they give you one of the parts, you need to figure out how I'm going to, and you're given the total area, you need to figure out what I'm going to divide by to end up finding my length and then applying whatever information they give you to find those values. And in this case, you multiply the two together and you get your answer. That's it.